Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today's video, we're going to be dehydrating. So go get your dehydrator and bring it out and set it up. And hopefully you have some frozen carrots in your freezer because that's what we're doing today on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. To show you how easy it is so that you can dehydrate some food and make sure that you have something that you can store away that's going to last for up to 15 years. Doing it yourself, saving yourself a lot of money. So get your dehydrator ready, because we're about ready to rock and roll. Next. Okay, once again, we went and got our dehydrator, right? All ready to go. Now all we need is some frozen vegetables. And the reason why we like to use frozen vegetables is because they already did half the work for us. All we have to do is take these out, take, get our trays, put them on our trays, load them up, and get dehydrating. So, here we go, folks. Once you have a dehydrator, you start off with one of your little trays here. Now, with carrots and stuff, you don't need to put down a screen like I showed you last time when I did peas okay so you don't need that when you're doing carrots or something that's larger so we set that on there and you pair of scissors take and open these bad boys right up and you see they come right out you know they're already cut for you and everything else just dump them on your face here Now you want to take and spread them out. You're going to have to break the ones that are all stuck together. You have to break those apart. So what I did was, is I took them out 10 minutes early before I was going to start dehydrating. This way here, they start and they thaw a little bit so that you can just easily just take and snap them apart. See? Because <clears throat> they do, you know, get frozen together. Now you can use the screens if you'd like, um, it's all up to you, but there's you really don't need it. This is a pretty simple method, uh, they're pretty big, and when they dehydrate down, there's not really much to them. And we just go through, just make sure everybody has its own little spot on the tray. So. We don't have overlap, which will cause your dehydration to not be that well on certain ones. So you want to make sure that they're all separated and they all have their own little place. So they feel all kind of happy inside, if you get what I'm saying. All right. I think that tray is looking pretty full. We're going to have to save those and put those on the next tray. So basically you want an all layered, single layer. No overlapping, no doubles, triples, none of that kind of stuff. It all has to be a single layer. <clears throat> and let me pull you over here real quick. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So that you can see right inside that tray. See folks, just a single layer, and we're going to do that with the rest of the trays, and I'll be right back. Okay folks, so we have all these trays all loaded with the carrots. We have a little overflow here off of the top tray. We're going to throw that on. Now, like I did say, to save yourself and your little fingers from a little bit of heartache, make sure you take the bags out of the freezer about 10 minutes before you start this process. This way here, they start to thaw a little bit and they pull apart really nice and easy. They're all sliced, real nice for you. You can pull them right apart, doesn't hurt your fingers. And this way here, you can get everything going. Now with carrots, I'm gonna put the lid on. With carrots, you come down, right down here, okay? We're going to do your 
temperature is 125. And then your time is, it's anywhere between nine and 12 hours. So we're gonna start with nine hours. Hit the start button. And once we're all done, we'll be back to check them, see if they're ready. And then we'll start putting them in canning jars. Very simple, folks. We're going to have our own dehydrated carrots that are going to last for up to 15 years if you store them properly. See you soon. Good morning, everybody. And our carrots look like they're done. So we have our canning jar ready. And we're going to go in and take a look at these. I'm going to bring the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so let's see what we ended up with. As you can see, they all dried. Really nice. Good to go. I did end up doing, doing them for a total of 12 hours. So now what we have to do is take all these out of here, put them into our canning jars, and then we're gonna vacuum seal them. And this way here, they will last for at least 15 years. Be right back. Okay, so we're back. Now, one thing. You may wanna use the screens after all, just because some of the smaller little pieces of carrots, they do dehydrate down, they fall through, and they end up in the bottom of a dehydrator. If nothing else, at least put the screen on the very bottom rack. This way it catches anything that falls through. Now, we have our vacuum sealer out here, as you can see. I do have the attachment with the large mouth. All we're going to do is put this right on here like so. Hit accessory. And wait for it to do its magic. pushed down it's vacuum sealed now that's all we got out of four bags 12 ounce bags of frozen carrots so you could almost do double the amount in one large canning jar screw that on I'm gonna write the date on here and we are all done doing carrots so this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all enjoyed the video and hopefully you learned something on dehydrating carrots. Next week will be green beans. So stay tuned. Talk to you all later.